Blog Talk Radio. Rockers and Recovery Media is dedicated to carrying the message of addiction recovery through music, news, events, and festivals taking place within and not limited to the clean and sober community. Hey, good morning. John Hollis with Waking Up Bless. I want to thank everybody for tuning in this morning. If you're uh, listening for the first time, or maybe you forget what the show's about, we can tell you it's about starting our day with inspirational stories of experience, strength, and hope. And we do that Monday through Friday right here on Blog Talk Radio. And it's uh, Blog Talk Radio forward slash RIR Radio. You can check us out also at rockersandrecovery.com. Click on the little Listen Live uh, button right there on the right-hand side. And every day you'll be able to uh, listen to, of course, Waking Up Bless's new episode. You can also click on the radio tab, and on the very top is the current, of course, current uh, radio broadcast that's taking place. And each day, all of that stuff is updated Monday through Friday, and check it out right here at Waking Up Blessed. Waking Up Blessed is sponsored by, this morning, uh, SoberMap. SoberMap.com, check them out. Uh, they are some great people doing some great stuff. Go over to SoberMap.com and uh, download the apps. You can uh, find a lot of uh, great information uh, with the folks over there. SoberMap.com, thank you. Uh, recovery media partners for this morning, of course, are Clearbrook Treatment Centers, Amethyst Recovery, The Shores Treatment and Recovery, and Hope and Grace Recovery Center. Uh, you can also uh, check that out right here at the Blog Talk page, or you can go to Rockers and Recovery and click on the Media Partners, and you can find the full list of the uh, addiction recovery resources. You can also find uh, our corporate sponsors. There's also information for 12-step organizations and non-12-step organizations, along with uh, organizations like SAMHSA and Music Cares, and you can also find private treatment centers there, some of the ones that I just mentioned, along with their phone numbers and all of that. So if you need, if you need help, it's there. It's possible. Uh, one day at a time, Meg Gladder said we don't get to use, and today... Experience, strength, and hope from others is what helps me get through each day. And I get to, you know, wake up in the morning and and start my day and wake up blessed because I don't have to use or didn't have to wake up with that feeling of impending doom. Today I get to be a person of society, uh, in society, working along with others to help others one day at a time. Our guest this morning is a gentleman named Michael P. And Mike's going to come on, and we're going to ask him what his day is like. You know, what's how's he start his day? He's been doing it consistently for a long, long time. So we're going to bring Mike P. on. We're going to talk to him about uh, how he does it. Mike, welcome to the show. Thanks for calling in and being a part of waking up blessed on Rockers and Recovery this morning. How you doing? Hey, good morning, John. Wow, we woke up sober, clean morning. Woo! Man, what can I say? <laughs> You're, the best. You're the best, brother. Hey, listen, you know, what's waking up blessed mean to you? What does that mean to you? Well, waking up blessed is to know that through the grace of God, wow, we got another day sober and clean. And uh, our mission is, uh, I don't know, I always... I always do uh, Gift of Desperation, which I love, G-O-D. You know, people have a hard time trying to get to God, and I usually, you know, that's how it was presented to me. You know, G-O-D, Gift of Desperation, is a gift of desperation, and and that's what, you know, uh, brought me into the uh, fellowship and and brought me to my knees. And the other thing is uh, Good Orly Direction. I love that one. You know, try to do the right Mm. thing for the right reason. Keep it simple. And then, of course, the last one is, you know, hang out with a group of drunks or a group of druggies, man. Woo! You can't get any better than that. You get what you need, not what you want. Absolutely, man. So, Michael, let me me ask you, how do you start your day? Um, You know, like, you know, everybody, you know, has their own form and discipline and what they do and how they do it and where they do it. So, 
you know, some people are on the road, some people, you know, have a, you know, they wake up each day in their home. How do you start your day and how does it work for you? Okay, I started, uh, some days I, I go to my knees, you know, when I wake up. I mean, I remember having a hard time sleeping. Uh, those people out there that have a hard time uh, sleeping at night, eventually uh, you will be able to have a good night's sleep. And, uh, you know, I pray before I go to bed, and then, of course, I, you know, I hit my knees in the morning. I remember my sponsor telling me, hey, as long as you, uh, you know, since I fell on my knees, I haven't fell on my face. <laughs> mm. I love that one. Wow. And, wow. Uh, and then there'll be, there'll be times that I'll, uh, you know, I'll pray through the day. You know, and um, yeah, you just gotta turn it over. You know, just turn it over. But you know, let him run the show, and um, and and just try to you know, just try to let him guide you and direct you. You know, and of course, going to a meeting. You know, I always say you gotta have God in one hand and and recovery in the other hand. If you got them two hands full, woo, you got the whole wide world. In your hands, John, rock and roll. <laughs> so, so Mike, let me ask you, what kind of literature, I mean, is there any literature that you read that, because let me, you are always a happy guy. I mean, what you're hearing here, folks, is what you get every time you see Mike, and he is consistent, and he's a lovely, lovely guy, and he just carries so much love and, and compassion for others. Um, Mike, what kind of literature do you do you tune into, or what do you do as far as readings? Reading, uh, it was given to me, you know, it's interesting. When I came in 20 years ago in my recovery, see, God works through people. And I remember going to a meeting, and it was this beautiful blonde, and, and she attracted <laughs> me to go to that meeting. And uh, <laughs> I kept going to that meeting. One day, she just gave me this 24-hour book. Wow. wow. And I remember, I remember read, you know, and I really didn't want to read the book and, and all that, but I remember, you know, her giving me that book and, and opening that book and, and, and reading it, you know, just one day at a time. Uh, I love the 24 hour book, you know, I, it sets my day off. And then of course, uh, you know, around six o'clock then I'll read daily reflections You get like a, you get like a second kick in. And, wow. uh, and it re, yeah, it restructures your thinking, you know, you know, through the uh, addiction way instead of your way, the the addiction God way. I will definitely have to check that out, you know, because I usually do all my readings in the morning. You know, there's some times at night where I will read other things, and I'm online reading a lot of stuff all the time too. But to sit and to be structured around six or seven o'clock, that's kind of a cool idea. I like that to check that out. So in the meantime. When you went through the step process for you, um, did how did that how did that work? I mean, did you find yourself really wanting to just go through the process and, and wanting to change, or did you balk at some of that? Well, it's interesting. I'm really not a reader, so this is great for those people that don't like to read. Um, mm. You know, for me, in order for me to go through the steps. And and the uh, and the big book, um, my sponsor. You know, it's funny because out there they say, oh, you know, the, the sponsor. Oh, we're going to take you through the steps. We're going to take you through the big book. And you know, I told my sponsor because you know what, God's got a different plan. Okay, and uh, so how he did it was he came in through the back door. He he would constantly make me go to step meetings and big book, and then wow. of course, you know, through the twenty year process. It's not so much that you get the steps, the steps will get you. It's not so much that you're going to get the big book, the big book will get you. I remember my sponsor saying to me, are you Italian or are you Russian? I said, I'm Italian. And he would always say to me, well, stop Russian. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, we're blessed. We're truly blessed, John. I mean, like I said, this is a gift. You know what? But I used to hear the grace of God. I thought I thought grace was some chick in the meeting that found God. <laughs> I never knew that grace meant gift. See, this is a gift that it's free for the taking, you know. And um, 
you know, we've been all we've been all blessed. You know, I don't believe in luck. You know, luck comes and goes. But when you're truly blessed, it'll stay one day at a time. As long you know, it, it's important not to um uh, live in the past. You know, I tell a lot of my sponsees, you know, don't live in your past. Don't live in your future. I mean, you can think about your past and think about your future, but just live in today. Live in to now, you know. Be grateful for what you have, don't have. See, that's that's what the program and the steps uh, ha- has helped me with with my life, that as long as I live in my need, I will always have the abundance of life and everything I need. Wow, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. So let me, you know, people I'm sure are asking, well, what is the, the picture that I put up? And you are a drummer, and you had a concept. <laughs> and you put the concept together, and tell us about what that picture is. Well, as my, um, you know, I've always been not a conventional drummer. I've always been an unconventional drummer. In fact, it it started back, uh, actually, in 1964. I think, you know, living in Atlantic City, and I'm in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and I think living in Atlantic City, I can remember in, in 1964, I was 14 years old, and we had a place here called the, the Steel Pier that went a mile out on the water. It was incredible. I mean, here I am, this young kid, and, uh, you know, you could go hear the – in fact, I heard you talk about it. You'd go hear the animals. I heard the hermits, hermits, the beach boys. Uh, you know, you can see them all on uh, in this concert hall, uh, it was, and it stretched out on the water. And it had the high diving horse at the end, and this huge – this horse would dive, and I remember the water splashing on me. So, you know, that was very intriguing uh, as me being a, uh, a drummer. And um, so – how what happened? It was a talent show, and I played the Steel Pier, and I was only uh, I was 16 years old, and I beat out uh, drum I, I beat out drummers, I beat out bands, I beat out dance groups, comedians, singers, jugglers. It was a, it was like 300 people, and I and my prize was you know to open up for the turtles. I can't think of anyone. Ba, 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 ba. You know my... So anyway, I opened up for them. <laughs> and uh, I'm in this concert hall. And then at the end, uh, I all, they also, they had this ballroom in the back. And uh, and Glenn Miller was back there. And uh, and I ended up opening up for uh, uh, Gene Krupa, uh, playing wow. opposite of Gene Krupa, who was one of the world's greatest drummers. So from that, it catapulted me into... Uh, doing drum solos, and uh, you know, it was with different bands and that. I had a two-man band called Grandma, which we opened up for this group called the Kinks in Atlantic City. Mm. It was amazing, and uh, the Kinks, and that triggered me off. And then as as it went on, uh, as it evolved, and I was in the Gong Show, I built these Martian robots, and they all played the drums with me. And uh, if you go on my website, uh, you'll see all that stuff. Um, and my Facebook page, I got these Martians, and and I, I work them with foot pedals, and they all play the drums with me. But oh, wow. as when I got sober, um, uh, what happened was in 1998, I had this I I had this idea that I wanted to build drums around a motorcycle. So I'm a motorcycle rider and a drummer, and it just kept evolving and. Um, 17 years later in my recovery, it took it took 20 years in the making, but 17 years in my recovery is when I was able to actually build this dream. You know, they say go beyond your wildest dreams. Well, you will. You know, there isn't anything that we can't accomplish in our life as long as we stay sober, stay clean, help others, and pray. You know, it's called trust God, clean house, help others. But... Um, I, in the last three years, from uh, you know, um, I end up building uh, Iron Thunder, Iron for the motorcycle, Thunder for the drums. That's why I met you uh, in Fort Lauderdale uh, and Pompano Beach, and uh, you have back you had a Rockers in Recovery uh, concert there at the 101 Club. It was great, man. And and it was funny our story, how we met. Isn't that funny, John? Yeah, you know, man. God. Yeah. You know, it was God. 
I couldn't find my keys. I lost my keys. And something yeah. said, go inside. And I went inside the clubhouse, and there you were standing with these keys in your hand, and that's how we were introduced. And that's the key. <laughs> but anyway, Amazing, isn't it? Thing. Well, yeah, my AD, you know, I mean, that's another thing. I, you know, you'll learn a lot of things in recovery. I have ADD, you know, uh, I, like my, I'll jump here and I'll jump there, but that's okay. You know, it's all right. That's it, at least we're, it's all good. Listen, we're going to make mistakes, but at least we're aware of them today and we can uh, correct them. But um, uh, building this thing, Iron Thunder, it, it, it took $200,000, which I'm really not educated. I'm really not. Uh, 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 famous, or I'm really not rich, so you figure that out. Hello? It's got to let the end recovery done it. That's all so, God, brother. I so, get it. <laughs> so we created, we created this yeah. thing of that, forget about trying to be an evil kid evil, okay, that mm-hmm. I'm going to play drums, I'm going to sing, I'm going to ride a motorcycle all at the same time, right, and create a rock and roll band. So what I got is I got the America's Only Extreme Motorcycle Drum Trike Rock and Roll Machine. It's never been done. And what is the mission? To help, you know, to uh, awareness of heart disease, addiction, and recovery. It's like, wow, what a revelation, man, you know? It, it's yeah, like it to, to revolutionize, uh, you know, heart disease uh, and to have an intervention with addiction and recovery through the art of, of Iron Thunder, of, of playing a, uh, drums around a motorcycle and singing and driving this thing, which has got 50 million, 50 million views, John. Can you believe that? 50 million views on Facebook. Wow. Yeah, man. That's amazing <laughs> stuff. Amazing. So, oh so the whole process, where – where can I mean? If do you have events coming up? Or where can people find more information? I want to send them there because we don't have a lot of time left on the segment. But I definitely want to send people to where they can find Iron Thunder and you, Mike. So uh, give me your Facebook page and let's send them there. Okay, just go, you go to uh, my website, which is Heartbeat Riders, Heartbeat Riders dot org, and that'll that'll take you to everything. It'll take you to my website. Facebook, the whole, the whole deal. Perfect, perfect. And Mike, you know, hey, listen, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you, and uh, we're working on putting something together here locally in Tallahassee. Maybe we can get you and Iron Thunder down here to hang out with us. And uh, in the meantime, you are a really, really blessed dude, and you carry a message of hope in your own unique way. And that's what this is all about. It's about being outside the box. I believe that, you know, when you get a vision and you, and you have those things, it was like, you know, when Rocker started in 2008, if you had told me that we'd be where we're at today, I would have told you you're out of, my, out of your mind. If you had told me, I would have went through the experiences that I went through. You know, it, it's funny, Mike, because, that you know, the money that was spent either on your project or Rockers and Recovery Project gave us both a very unique education that we could have never received if we had paid for a college tuition. Correct. Correct. So through yep, through correct. that through that the blessings that we're able to move forward by the grace of God um through projects like this is is it's really like a stewardship we get to be able to do those things. So Blessings to you, brother, and um, we'll talk more about the Iron Thunder for sure. Oh, absolutely, and it's amazing because it's never our plan. You never thought it would excel. You know, Rock and Recovery is an amazing intervention in itself, and, uh, you know, uh, God and you and, and your lovely lady, you know, you you guys have helped so many, so many uh, sick and suffering uh uh, alcoholics and addicts out there, and and it's just it's it's a beautiful thing uh, that what you've uh, both uh, accomplished, and and all your supporters, you know. Mm, oh, and, and absolutely. Leave this on one good. I'm working on a, a a concert here that I'll be doing Friday, <laughs> Saturday, and Sundays. It's going to be at Brighton Park. Okay, oh, wow. it's right off the boardwalk. It's where the Claridge is and and Bally's Casino, and. Uh, 
and it looks like it's going to be coming through. Uh, you, you've got to get so many different licenses and permits, though, with this yeah, thing, you know, is, to be able amazing, to put it on it? the boardwalk and all. Yeah. Excuse me? Well, it's that way anywhere. I mean, anywhere you go, if you, you know, the the fire, the police, the you know, anytime you put on an event uh, anywhere in this country, there's there's always that permitting and payout. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And the other thing about it is too, you know, my five hundred one c three, which is Heartbeat Riders of America, which I have a five hundred one c three that you can donate to. And the money goes, you know, it's going to go towards the American Heart Association, which I support, the PBA, you know, the police. I remember, <laughs> I, remember I had the police arrest me all the time. You know what they say? Every time you're drinking drugs, you're allergic, and you break out in handcuffs. But now, you know, yeah, I'm going but... to support them and also the firemen and uh, and and you and and your organization so it it'll be it'll be interesting what iron what uh heartbeat riders of america through iron thunder is going to achieve which will be one day at a time let's get that straight john you know everybody wants yeah, to do everything at once you know you started this thing what 10 years ago or 8 years ago yeah man i mean look at yeah. you <laughs> hey hey are you italian or russian okay are are you italian or russian <laughs> I'm Italian, so stop rushing. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that's great, John. That's great. Okay. All right, brother. Well, listen, man, it was really great having you on the show this morning and being a part of our, you know, waking up blast and giving us some, you know, koodles and uh, gummy bears through the day and uh, an inspiration. Of course, uh, experience, strength, and hope is what waking up bless is all about and, you know if you got some hope today we really really hope you're plugged in and we want to thank uh mike for being on the show and check out his information that he gave and most importantly uh we'll have you back in the future mike to tell you when you're getting your event ready we'll we'll bring you back on and we'll talk about it oh that's great and uh and to you and all your wonderful listeners out there we will all have a god sober clean wake up Blessed day. How's that, John? Woo! I love it, man. I love it. <laughs> All right, brother. Good All talk right, to you, you got it. Take right. care. Bye. Bye. That's that's a guy that will. If you don't have any energy in the morning, he will definitely pump you up and give you some. So Michael is a great guy. Check out, of course, uh, Rolling Thunder, and um, check out, uh, of course, uh, Mike's information right on Facebook. At Rolling Thunder. So, hey, we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Waking Up Blessed is here Monday through Friday. Of course, uh, you can check us out at Blog Talk Radio forward slash. It's blogtalkradio.com forward slash RIR Radio. You can also check us out at rockersandrecovery.com. Click on the Listen Live button, and you can also click on the Radio and Schedule. Uh, of course, navigation button up top. Find out all that information in every day, regardless. If you don't know anything else, go to Rockers and Recovery at Facebook, and pinned to the top of the page is the show that's going to be broadcasting each morning at 9 a.m. We then follow that up with taking the segment, turning it into a Facebook Live segment, and we usually air that around 10 a.m. We're thinking about changing that to 9 p.m. at night, so the morning segment at 9 would re-air at 9 p.m. at night, so we're working on that, but as of right now, that hasn't changed, but we're working on that, and again, we want to thank everybody so much for uh, being a part of Waking Up Blast and listening in this morning, and of course, uh, thank you to Sober Map. And check out those guys at SoberMap.com. And uh, every you know morning we pick a song. And we have been dedicated to two songs this week. And we're you know each week we pick a couple songs and we play them through the week so people can get to hear them and, and you know talk about them with others. And uh, Smash Palace, our buddy David Yusikian of the Hooters, is part of a band called Smash Palace. And they came out with this great song, and every time I hear it, I think Beatles. That's what it kind of reminds me of. And It Happened to Me is the name of the song, and you can find it at Smash Palace on Facebook and all of their information. So let's check out It Happened to Me 
right here on Waking Up Blessed first thing this morning. You guys have a great day. Be well. Rockers and Recovery Radio is based on opinion only and is not meant to treat or diagnose any health or mental health issue of any kind. If you feel you need help for any health-related issues, please contact a physician or mental health professional. The opinions expressed by our guests are not necessarily those of Rockers and Recovery. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandslots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.